Hey guys, it's me, Dio Gen Z, and uh, right now I'm on vacation. Yeah, we all are uh, pretty much on vacation still. I mean, some of us I know uh, are going back to school, but I'm not. So I just want to say hi from my vacation island, and uh, I'm sure you recognize this place. It's Super Mario Sunshine, one of the most underrated games that Nintendo has produced. Let's wake up with Mario here and look at that beautiful sunset, huh? Fantastic skies. Well, there's a beach chair there. I'm sure you all recognize this place. Now you may be wondering, besides the fact that it's summer, why am I posting a Super Mario Sunshine video? If anything, I should post, I don't know, maybe a galaxy video or something. That's what you would think, right? But in actuality, I had an idea, and I wanted to share it with you guys. Recently I've been doing some re uh, not replays, but uh, some let's plays of Chugga Conroy's Super Mario Sunshine. And I was very happy to find this because I could never really find a decent let's play that stayed, you know, true to itself and kept going. And I know Chugga is a uh, very incredible replay. Um, I keep saying replay, but let's play source. Uh, check him out, Chugga Conroy. I'll put his uh, a link to his YouTube in the video description. I usually don't do plugs, but you know what? He's just that good that I wanted to. He inspired me to do this kind of video anyway. And uh, I was thinking to myself, you know, as I was playing through this, because I never got all 120 shines, which is why I'm doing it. See? I have blue coin right there. It's pretty obvious. So... I figured that I would go back, uh, delete one of my old files, because I have played this game over and over and over again, and it just gets better every time, and I figure that, you know, I might as well get all 120 shines, but I'm not here to tell you about my Let's Play uh, experience, I'm here to tell you about the idea I had with Super Mario Sunshine. Now, I thought Super Mario Sunshine was just great, you know, I, I actually liked it uh, significantly better than 64, which I know I'm going to get crucified, and I like some aspects of it more than Galaxy, so write your hate mail now, but I mean, I have reasons I won't go into right now just because it'll take too much time, and I was thinking with the release of Metroid Prime Trilogy, which is coming up very soon, guys, do expect that, that will be, uh, we'll be posting a review for that, uh, you know, and the Let's Play Pikmin and all of the lovely back black bar that's on my screen right now, inexplicably, because I am using the tripod. I think it's because I'm playing a GameCube game, it has a different frame rate, but, uh, anyway. Um, you know, with the success of Pikmin and, uh, you know, Donkey Kong, probably not Mario Tennis, but Metroid definitely, and the, uh, enhancing that the new play controls have done, I thought to myself of a game that was just so fun and I thought could really use a refurbishing. You know, I mean, look at this mechanic. Genius! Who would have thought to jump off of people's heads like that, you know? But I thought that, what if Nintendo decided to do a, a new play controls for Super Mario Sunshine? Now, I know before you guys start clicking away from this video and saying this is a stupid idea, this is a stupid game, please let me explain. I will admit there are some things in this game that should be changed. The fact that they recycle bosses over and over again is really annoying, but they do that in every Mario, and you guys should be kind of used to that by now. Um, um, you know, uh, some of the things that people complained about was that it was easy. And you know what, there's certain points in every Mario game that are easy. I mean, you can get through the big game without getting 120 shines or stars or whatever game you're playing in, you know, fairly a short amount of time. And, you know, there was just... I don't understand why people thought this was a bad game. I mean, me and Ryan, we both think that this is a top-notch game. And, uh, if you haven't played it, you should. But I was thinking, you know, maybe people would have a different idea of the game if, you know, we added new play controls. So, right now, of course, you're playing with the standard GameCube controller. We want to map it to the Wii Remote and Nunchuck, which I don't have with me right now, but... Here, here's my idea, um, refine it in any way that you would like, but I think the standard jump should be an A button, of course, and then you got your 
double jump, triple jump, and all your jumps in between. Totally failed at triple jump. There we go. Uh, that should be the A button, and the analog stick is, of course, on the Wii nunchuck. Alright, the refocusing button, which is usually traditionally on the GameCube controller, controlled with the L button, should be mapped to the Z trigger on the... Or not the Z trigger. Um, yeah, the Z trigger on the nunchuck. Wow, I know my Wii great. Um, the map button, which is on the C button for GameCube, should be mapped to the C button on the nunchuck. So you got your controllers there with your refocusing and your C button. So jump, Z, and C. So we got the analog, and now we have the other buttons on the Wii Remote. Okay, to switch out your flood, you should be using the minus button to go into first-person mode, which I don't really understand why they did this. I mean, I guess it's good for focus shooting. But, uh, you know, otherwise it's just pointless. But anyway, that should be mapped to the plus button. So you have your minus to switch out and your plus to zoom in, which is pretty much similar. If you look on the um, GameCube controller, you know, this puts you in and out of first person. This switches your thing, your uh, nozzle. Oh, that's a lovely black bar. I apologize for the quality of this video, guys. Um, you know, so they're both uh, primarily together. Um... Now, let's see what the C-Stick did. C-Stick basically just repositioned your camera. And I'm thinking you won't really need that with the new Wii Ro Remote Controls. Now, to spray, you're going to press B. And the same thing would happen, so you press A to jump, and then you press B to hover. That's that's the same. You know, there's really... You don't... There's really nothing you need to do with ho hover. The turbo is pretty much the same, and the rocket is the same. The only thing that would need refinement in controls is this, is the squirt nozzle. And for this, I think it would be, uh, it's due time for an IR reticle for this. So whether you have crosshairs or you can edit it so you can have crosshairs or not, wow, that black bar is horrible. I'm sorry, it's just bothering me. Um, you know, you should be able to do that. And, uh, it would give you a lot more precise control than you have with just your standard control there. Now, of course, I'm lightly pressing down on the R button, which would be the B button transferred to the Wii Remote. Lightly pressing it just lets you run around, which you can do with the IR. And then you hold down, and then you have a tighter control holding B. So that's basically it. I mean, you'd have the same... Oh, well, that's one thing I didn't think about, is the, uh... that control. But... You could theoretically do a thrust of the nunchuck. This way it's like you're actually going forward and you're leaping forward with the nunchuck. I don't think that would be too annoying. Do comment in this video if you'd like to change my ideas a little bit, like maybe put the A button somewhere else or something like that. I mean, it would be even interesting if uh, Miyamoto and just Nintendo put customizable controls. This way you decide how you want to play Super Mario Sunshine, because I don't know if people had a uh, problem with the controls. I know people had problems with the red coin missions, the fact that there were so many of them, and yeah, they get annoying, and I do admit those that's one of the uh, kind of downsides of the game, is the red coin missions. Um, you know, but you, you kind of got to come to expect this. It's like purple coins in Super Mario Galaxy. It's like I hate those missions just as much as I hate these missions. Purple, red, doesn't matter. Um, you know, I'm trying to think of other complaints that people had with this game. Uh, you know, just not much comes to mind for me. Uh, you know, if you guys don't like the game, do comment because I want to know everything you think about it. Um, we're running short on time, so there are a few other features I'd want thrown in. If I can't add them in this video, I'll add them in annotations. Uh, one thing I want able to uh, be unlocked is when you, when this game is released, I do believe it should be released with a little bit of a, an expansion to it. Maybe a bit more islands, or maybe somewhat of a sequel in there. Just because people wouldn't buy a Super Mario Sunshine 2. That's, I highly believe that. Even if they refine the controls greatly. So... You know, it would be smart to add somewhat of a sequel, but one thing I think should be added, and I think it should be unlocked, is the ability to island hop. Now, I'm going to show you something that really is kind of interesting to me, is that it's great that you can see the islands from every other island, and it's really nice that they allow you to do that. 
It's not being cheap, just letting you, like, you know, think that there's something off in the distance, but you don't know. Now, this is about as far as I can go. I can probably jump out of the water and go a little bit further. Yeah, you can kind of see where there's, like, an invisible wall. I think that when you beat the main game, and this would kind of make people want to beat the game with just base minimum stars and then go back for all the coin missions and special hidden missions and the possible sequel, um, you know, you'd unlock this ability to be able to swim to wherever you want. Now, granted, there would be enemies and there would be whirlpools and things that would set you back a little bit, but, I mean, for short distances, like, you know, right over there, I mean, I, I should be able to freaking swim over there, and yet I'm not. So, you know, I'll add some more ideas as we go on, but uh, that about does it. Perhaps Radio Gen Z for Nintendo Radio with new play controls and Super Mario Sunshine.